Okay, I'm going to cut a two part stencil. So this is the first part, it's a branch. And then the second part is these birds. And um, when I put them together, it'll be birds sitting on a branch. And I'm, I'm getting ready to do, I don't know, a lot of postcards. I have um, a winter postcard swap at Mixed Media Club that I'm hosting. And then I also have my patrons on Patreon who are going to get handmade postcards from me this Christmas. So it's going to be a lot of postcards. So I thought I would stencil them instead of painting them freehand. And um, this is the design that I came up with. What I'm doing is gluing my design to a manila folder, which I'm going to use for my stencil. I hate glue that is purple when it comes out of the tube and turns clear. I feel like I'm probably smart enough to know where the glue is and where it isn't without somebody turning it purple for me, but that's just me. Just using a brayer to make sure that it's nice and flat. And the deal with this stencil is I'm going to try to cut it so that I can line up the top and bottom edges of the stencil with the top and bottom edges of my blank postcards. And that's how the two pieces of the stencil will line up together, if that makes sense. Just let the glue dry for a minute. Um, I have a sharp blade in here. Always work with sharp blades when you cut um, with a craft knife. A little scar on my finger right across here from uh, cutting with a dull blade when I was in graduate school, which was ooh, like 30 years ago. Um, so always make sure you cut with a sharp blaze and then I'll cut all the little pieces afterwards and a lot of times when you're cutting stuff that's um, a lot of curves in it it's easier to hold the blade in place and move the stencil around like this to do your cut And I don't have to be real careful with this because it's a branch. So if I if I don't get it perfect, it'll be fine. It's a branch. I'm more worried about the birds. I have lots of little bits to cut. Just to keep that out of the way. Actually cutting the stencil. I'm just cutting on the edge of the black. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting along the line of this main branch here. 
and then I'll cut on little pieces afterwards. And a lot of times when you're cutting stuff that's um, a lot of curves in it, it's easier to hold the blade in place and move the stencil around like this to do your cut. Now I can do all the little sections that are coming off that main one. Looks pretty good. Now, let's try doing the birds. These are a little bit more complicated to do. The shapes are a little more complex. This little head off to do this because it's easier to cut from an empty space than it is to keep cutting continuously. That kind of looks like a bird too. Awesome. So now I need to test them. And I buy these blank four by six index card at Staples. And they're great for cutting stencils, for um, using as backs, whatever. I use them a lot when I'm making pickup cards. And I also use them for the front side sometimes too. So, let's see what I've got. Do the branch first. I'm not really sure if I want to do paint or markers. So, I think I'm going to test it out with paint first and see how that goes. some black acrylic and I use makeup sponges for a lot of things including stenciling so and I'm just kind of lining up along three sides and lay it in place and hopefully I'll get an image out of it looks pretty good. This looks good because I can see the little section of branch um, through the tail of each bird. It 
which I'm clearly going to have to paint over. Okay. So that looks good. Oh, actually, I don't have to paint it over. I could just leave it because it looks like the bird's tail is hanging along the back side. So that looks pretty good. 